Hello and welcome to this third tutorial video on how to make a traditional dress for your rag doll. I'm putting the parts of the skirt together now so I have the dress skirt front and the two dress skirt back pieces and they have notches marked on them that show where they line up. Let's first of all take this one out of the way and let's have a look at this side here and the matching notches up. Now I'd have lined these pattern pieces up better if I'd have had more fabric but I have a limited amount of fabric so I'm just not going to worry about that on this one and I'll pin the bottom together and then the top together and then I can use the notches line those up to make sure that's even and I'm going to add a few more going out to in with my pins so that I can sew over the top if I want and then I'm going to do the same on the other side so lining up the notches that are on my dress skirt back piece with the front section and pinning at the bottom first and then up at the top and then lining up those notches there and a couple more you can never have too many pins There we go. So those are the pieces that will make the main body of the skirt. And we're going to sew the sides on this side and on this side. Now we're going to sew up to the notch here, which indicates the start of the opening for the back of the dress. So I'm going to line up the top but I'm going to pin here where the notch is and then my next one down at the bottom here and then I'm going to pop a couple of pins in here and the top section is left open to give us a wide enough opening to get the doll's body in. We're going to sew down here now from top to bottom and leave this section open. And now we've got this open section I'm going to fold it over and hem it. So I'm folding it over twice. It's a little fiddly this is. It's a lot easier to fold it over at the top than it is at the bottom of this opening because obviously it's sewn together. Just do your best. And another pin in there. And then on the other side, fold it over twice. It kind of angles a little bit. It's a little easier and a little wider at the top than it is at the bottom. And a second pin here make sure that's doubled over there we go and we're going to sew all the way down there on that side and then the same all the way down there and I've turned it right way out and there's our opening and we're going to gather it all the way around now I've got a needle and thread I've put a knot in one end now you can use either a contrasting thread that you can pull out later once you've sewn the skirt to the body or you may prefer to use a thread that's 
going to blend in with your fabric and just leave it in place that's entirely up to you if you're going to leave it in place keep your stitches within the seam that's going to be where the, the skirt of the dress joins the body of the dress I'm keeping the stitches loose here I'm not gathering yet because I want to pin my skirt to my dress body before I do that to make sure it's evenly spaced out that's a lot easier to do I think if it's not gathered yet so I'm continuing with running stitch gather stitch all the way around I'll speed up a bit to get you to the end so here I am coming to the the end of that section and I'm going to pull my thread through there we go and here it is I'm going to line it up with the body of the dress now I'm folding that lining at the back of the dress flat that's got to be folded wrong sides together there and then I'm going to pin the top of the dress to the skirt lining up the edges on that back opening I'm going to keep my gather thread hanging loose there so that I can pull it in a bit and then I'm going to pin the top of the dress to the skirt of the dress and then I'm going to do the same on the opposite side again I'm going to make sure that lining is folded over and then I'm going to make sure I've lined up the edges and pin that into position I'll bring my little mouse in so it's easier okay that's pinned right I'm just going to check that I'm happy that this back opening is level I want it to be level I don't want the skirt to stick out more than the top so I'm happy that that's flattened out now I'm going to pin the side seam of the dress top I'm going to lay that seam flat out like that just makes it a little easier to pin I'm going to sew that to the side seam of the skirt mouse down, mouse down <laughs> he's having a nap I think right so the opposite side seam of the dress top to the side seam of the skirt you'll often hear me say choose these obvious points like the side seams and notches makes it easier to get it level right now there's a notch on the front of the top of the dress there and I'm going to find the middle of the skirt by folding it in half you might be able to see where this position is by where you flipped your pattern piece and then I'm going to take the center of the front of the skirt and pin it to that notch That means if we have used a particular piece of pattern in the middle of the skirt, we know it's going to sit nicely in the centre of the front of that dress. Now I'm going to fold this next section in half and find roughly the middle and pin it about halfway across there. These bits can be, can be a bit ish, the centre ish. It's not quite so important. and I'm going to do that all the way around I'm not going to add too many pins here because I, I still need to gather it right okay that looks good find the end of my running stitch threads and I'm going to start pulling them and the, and the gather will tighten up and I'm going to ease the fabric along the thread 
if it's trapped around a pin you can pull it from one of your stitches it doesn't have to be the very end so mine's a bit tangled up in there so just to show you how this works I'm going to pull just pick a stitch out from here like that and just pull that it's not an important piece of thread once it's served its purpose so I'm going to pull it tight all the way around and if it's too tight I'm going to ease it out it I want my gather to be the same length as the top of the dress so once I've gathered it all up nicely and it fits the top of the dress just check it all the way around then I can add a few more pins if I want to but I think that might well do me actually I think that might that might be enough and we'll sew right from one side of the back opening there all the way around sewing the skirt to the top right the way to the other side of the back opening that concludes our tutorial video i hope it's been helpful if it has please subscribe to the channel give us some feedback and a like there are more videos coming soon